Hello, I'm Mark Schildhouse, and because things on the internet seem to lose their date references pretty quick, today is Sunday, March 24th, 2024. Happens to be Palm Sunday. Uh, we're big rail fans. Uh, we go uh, anywhere from what we did the other day uh, for the uh, entry into another gauge, a scale, another scale to be correct, uh, to uh, full-time stuff, and uh, we went into uh, Z, uh, this is the smallest commercial stuff, and we did that by buying um, several things off of the uh, internet. Reed's Hobby Shop in La Mesa, California, San Diego County is our uh, preferred source. Uh, they didn't sock it. Uh, they said they couldn't get it or wouldn't get it. And uh, so I ended up going online. And um, if you watch the other videos on trains, um, I have a thing about uh, General Motors EMD Electromotive Division Jeeps, GPs, referred to as Jeeps. Uh, I love them. And uh, if they're in Santa Fe, blue and yellow or blue and gold, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's my preference. I go from GP7 um, in HO or GP9, we aren't really sure. Um, I mean, that's that's my special train. That was the train I got when I was 10 years old. I got to pick it out at the uh, Pullman Car Company, which was closed at the time as a car company, railroad car company, but was open as a uh, Christmas uh, toy uh, menagerie, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it was tour it was cool and my mother toured me through uh, Pullman cars uh, sit Pullman City uh, being on the south side of Chicago and I used to make a pretty long bike ride out to LaGrange Illinois and watch the uh, Jeeps roll out of the uh, EMP factory out there anyways uh, picked up this guy here uh, to complete our livery we now go G uh, correction let me start at the other end we now go Z uh, this guy here, which is a uh, Jeep 30, we go G, uh, Jeep 30, to N, to HO, to S, to O, to G. So we go from really small to really big. Anyways, uh, get this guy here. Uh, we got the uh, shipment on Friday. I uh, had other things going on Friday, so it didn't get to open it until... Uh, yesterday, Saturday, the uh, March 23rd, uh, 2024, and uh, set it up, and this guy didn't do anything. Well, they, uh, people I bought it from, American Z Line, or whatever it was, uh, have this thing on YouTube about how to receipt the board on uh, this thing here, and it's really easy, and I appreciate their help. So I reseated the board three or four times uh, before I got it to do anything and uh, finally got it to turn into a creeper and in this video I primarily meant for these guys to troubleshoot this thing trying to get this thing to actually do some movement I have a GP9 a high nose I think it's GP9 a high nose Pennsylvania which is okay uh, in the same scale and you'll see a comparison run this video is meant for these guys, AZL, American Z-Line, I think that's what it is, American Z-Line, yep, um, to diagnose what the problem is with this guy, why he's only a creeper and he doesn't go very far. And the way the, along the way, um, I picked up this guy here in the order. Uh, I like remote control switches. It was a C004. Turned out that it should have been a C002. Uh, it says switch for accessories. I assumed it was the switch for the turnouts. I've got two of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to solve those. Anyways, this video is to show American Z-Line, AZL, uh, what this guy here does. Uh, he doesn't go very fast. And in comparison with the uh, Jeep 9 uh, Pennsylvania, uh, he goes at about one-third speed. So something is not right. And I'm going to ask through this video, American Z Line, to figure out what it is. Thanks for watching. Here's the sheet that came with uh, the locomotive. So AZL uh, knows they have a problem. It is a really good video. It tells you how to do it. It gives you the confidence to do it. And you can either type in that uh, YouTube um, 
real fun address or you can search YouTube for AZL PCB board receipt and uh, find it and I find that to be a lot easier. I, I did feel comfortable taking this thing apart. They tell you that if you take it apart, it's still under warranty, so don't worry about it. Um, and I'm going to email uh, the link to this YouTube video to uh, sales at ztrack.com and ask them, what do I do about getting uh, this Jeep to, to actually become something other than a creeper? As I said in the introduction, uh, I'm a EMD Jeep fan, GP uh, fan, um, if I can get it that way. Uh, that's what I go for, preferably in uh, the uh, gold and yellow. And uh, this goes from a Z, the GP30, that was from AZL, and that's what this video is, is made for. Uh, the GP40 is N-Gage, the HO is either a GP7 or GP9, we're not really sure, probably a GP7. Uh, the S is a GP20, and the O is a GP20 as well, and the G is a GP38. And with that, my livery, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> is complete. If we pick up another engine in any of these scales, uh, preferably it'll be in Santa Fe blue and yellow, and it'll be a Jeep. Uh, however, I do like steam, so um, obviously Jeeps aren't steam, so... Um, we'll pick up uh, uh, steam stuff maybe just one of those comments uh, this guy here showed up uh, in the starter kit that I bought uh, to to get this whole thing started the Z gauge started and uh, one of the axles uh, wheel sets had fallen out of the uh, tr of the uh, truck and uh, it was uh, Fun to get back in. It's a very, very small scale. We do not intend to do a whole lot with Z. Uh, we just got it to complete the span of commercial uh, railroad model railroading. This video is a video to show the uh, issue I have with the uh, Jeep 30, the AZL um, Jeep 30, GP 30. And currently my uh, AZL Jeep 7 is on the track and it's at full throttle and it's doing okay I'm gonna bring it to a stop replace it with the Jeep 30 bring the Jeep 30 up to full speed and that's the Jeep 30 at full speed quite a bit of difference in the speed it's probably 25 percent of the speed of the Jeep 7 with the Jeep 30 uh, it was dead upon arrival followed the uh, YouTube video reseated the uh, circuit board uh, didn't get anything working uh, played with it again got the light working played with it again and got it to run and this is as fast as it runs and that's at full throttle so uh, where do I go now